exactly what I, like what I pictured a college would be like. Yeah. You know. Oh, it's call central casting, it, like right. college. It's yeah. Ivy on the walls. And, right. In the fall and the mm -hmm, whole thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. it definitely. Is like this every is, bit and, of it, that. and it's tucked away and it's small and it's meaningful. My tour was a really big selling point just because I saw my tour guide talking to every single professor, talking to almost everyone she walked past. She could say hi to everyone. She knew everyone. Everyone was smiling, and it was just a whole different atmosphere from every other tour I went to at Madison, at Northwestern, wherever I went. Being the only Norbertine college in the world, um, having that is pretty, pretty cool. And so even when friends come to visit or friends that are from the area, they're like, St. Norbert, like, it's so small, like all those different things. Like, I can't believe you go to such a small school. I'm like, I love it. I go anywhere on campus and I see someone I know to be able to have that community sense where we're all kind of like in a family, but then I call it like the human family too. I, I, I trace a substantial portion of like what my life looks like today and who I am as a person to the people I met here, the experiences I had here. Yeah, take a look at that picture. See those smiling faces? Yes! <laughs> I love three smiling faces. We were the three seniors okay. on the volleyball team. And I think that the best memories I have are just the, um, the individuals who became team members. Mm -hmm. and, and then those teams who, who actually uh, made the foundation for future success. Mm -hmm because we were close to the beginning and you talked yeah. about your mom and Title IX yeah. and we weren't, incredible. we weren't far from that, yeah. know, that, that time period. We were, we were the beginning, I believe, of a great tradition at St. Louis College. I think my favorite memories would probably just be, which is kind of nerdy, the late night studying in oh. GMS and just being in there until two or three in the morning with all my friends, all my other science majors, and we're just quizzing ourselves about, name this amino acid, what's the structure of this molecule and all this stuff and just, ordering pizza and just studying and just, just a great experience to be with my friends, be working on stuff that I enjoy, right. and then ordering pizza and having a good time in between as little right. fun study breaks. Living in Madlor, Madeline Lorraine, was an incredible experience because I am super extroverted and a <laughs> super social butterfly. So being able to be in such a big building, coming from such a small area, <laughs> was like, oh my gosh, look at all these people I get to meet and get to be friends with. Night before classes started, we used to have, now they have the fireworks and, and the, the picnic and the gathering there. Well, we used to have a dance in the Union now, Michael's Commons, mm -hmm. um, and I, met who is now my wife at that dance. Right away. <laughs> right away. I did meet my wife here, so. There are a lot um, of couples that have met here. Yeah. I think over like 2,000 or something like There's that. There's a ton. I met her like the third day, or the like move-in day, or the, the day after that, or something. <laughs> we didn't start dating until later, but like, but we met here and, um, you know, we got engaged when I was in law school. We got married when I was finally done with law school. And, you know, fast forward 10 years, we've, Four kids. <laughs> well, you're a sophomore. I'm a sophomore. Haven't found the one yet. I was gonna say yeah, this no. is the part where I like. You know, I have some friends who are professors or retired professors, and there was one time I was with one of them, and we were together, and he said, "Hey, I gotta go," and I'm like, "Oh, you know, you gotta head home." He's like, "No, I'm heading back to campus," and it was like nine o'clock at night. I'm like, "Going back to campus?" He said, well, there's a student that was the only time they can meet, and so I said I'd come back and meet him, and I'm like, "Okay, tell me how many schools." you're gonna find that happen. When I was, um, I guess I was a junior, I was taking econometrics with Mark Vonder, who is oh, still a professor. Oh, I love Vonder. Mark is, is uh, he's one, of my, he's one of my very favorite yes. people. And, and we, we're still close, like, yeah. we still, we yeah. still talk a lot. He's my advisor, actually. And, and we still, you know, we all gather, yeah. we still gather, and we enjoy gathering at St. Norbert. Thank because you so <laughs> Exactly, you, you come back home, you reminisce. Yeah. We probably tell the same stories every year, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no, we still laugh and, and um, you know find pleasure in, in the experience that we had together. When I leave for the summer, I feel homesick for here. Oh. I'm not. I'm. I love my family. They're phenomenal. I love my house, but just all my friends have kind of become a family here, and just being here feels like home. It really does. It feels like my community. I, it Saint Norbert is a very special place in my heart, and I think it always will be. The best friends I have in life were people I met here. Yeah. Um, they, they still are. You know, I've met people here that I'll never, ever forget in my life. People that are that have meaningful friendships with me and I hold very close to my heart. I was doing right. service at Keller Elementary School okay. with the Boys and Girls Club after school program. And I actually like liked it a lot. It was a blast. It, you, we, I went two hours a week 
and I ended up doing it, I'm still doing it right now. And so I've been able to see these kids grow up in the community. And so I've seen them grow for a year, I've seen the kids go, I've seen the kids leave. I actually have in my wallet this little thing that one of them gave me, I carried around with oh my me. Gosh, how cool. And she gave me this, and she just, a little picture that says, for Mr. Mahak, and it has a picture of her. Oh my and gosh. so it, we had, she, we, me and her really connected, because she reminded me of my sister, who I missed, even though I saw her every right. so often. Oh, how and so wonderful. once a week I met up with her, and she just reminded me of her, and so we just clicked really well. And so when she ended up transferring schools, so when she left, she gave me this. It was a big teary moment. But <laughs> she left an impact on me. Just the way the service, right. I, I hope I left an impact on her, and I know for a fact she left one on me. That's neat. And so service goes both ways.